Hi everyone, I'm Felician Kongs and today I'm going to give you a quick overview and walk you through an essential first step when starting to use VST Life Pro Steinbeck's advanced stage production system for the first time. When starting VST Live, this hub will appear. You can select your audio interface, your preferred sample rate, your main audio output, your preferred MIDI input devices and your default layer, but I will talk about later. Now just simply click New Project. Here on the left, you can create new songs. To be more precise, these are containers for your songs. Let's rename the first one. And the second one. And don't forget to save your first project. And there is an important first step when you start to use VST Live. You need to connect it with your physical ports. So let's go to Devices, Connections. And here, under Connections, you can find a MIDI, an audio, a DMX and a video tab. Let's start with audio. We already have our main audio output, but we don't have any input. So let's create one. Clicking here. And assigning my first input. And say we need to use a secondary stereo output. Let's create that here. And selecting a physical port for it. And the same applies to MIDI. We don't have any outputs to create a new MIDI output and assign it to my device. And the great thing uh, when using connections, if you need to use the application in a different environment, uh, you can just freely reassign the ports. Say you have a complex configuration with uh, different uh, outputs but finally you go to your rehearsal room and you just have a stereo device you want to hear what is going on on the second and the third stereo output just click to your preferred physical port and it's done you don't need to touch your project but let's go back to what I meant by container for your songs. When creating a new song in VST Live, it's somewhat similar when we create a new song, for example, in Cubase, we create a new session. So each song is a separate session. We can create parts within a song, parts like intro, verse, chorus, And of course, we can define trigger time for these in tracks view, navigating to the desired uh, position, then clicking here, locating, clicking, locating, clicking. Then we can use parts for visual indication where we are or for direct navigation. And later we'll be able to combine parts with other complex features. And finally, there is a part with superpower that will make sense later. You can create it by clicking part, create global part. Then the global part will appear up here. It's time to drop your first audio file into VST Live and start your music. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this helpful. See you in my next tutorial.